federal government is, is soon to adopt the recommendations in the Steve Oransoy report to rationalize Nigeria's civil service workforce and to commence necessary restructuring according to estimates allowances for federal civil service federal civil servant cost the federal government one trillion naira and that's about a quarter of the 2013 budget proposed the federal civil service has been criticized over the years for being grossly overstaffed and inefficient as well as for carrying out a large force of ghost workers and for a culture of corruption for a look at this and moves and the for a look at this move and the implication for the economy, we are joined on the line by Dr. Patson Ekotra. He's a fellow at the African Institute for Applied Economics. Thank you so much, Dr. Patson, for joining us today. And I think a very um, good place to start is is the fact that we've seen this before. I mean, there have been other committees. I think there was one in 2000 that to look at how we can rationalize um, and make the civil service a lot more efficient. But finally, after the Federal Executive Committee. Um, council meeting on Wednesday, we're finally hearing that they are going to adopt the latest, which is of course the Steve Oransayan report. Your thoughts on why we need to make those moves now? Uh, well, recall that uh, if you are in government, at some point there is, you know, you may have the need to make hard choices. And uh, I think that's exactly what the FEC equally uh, did uh, recently by going uh, with the Orosanya uh, uh, recommendations. Well, let me just start by saying that uh, you know that the federal government has in its yearly medium-term expenditure framework as well as the yearly budget, the aspect of fiscal consolidation and inclusive growth. Right. And in that fiscal consolidation in 2013, they've tried to reduce the recurrent expenditure to 68% right. as against 71 in 2012. Right. And then, well, they, they, the target is to reduce the recurrent expenditure to 65% or 60% by 20, uh, 2015. Yes. And make no mistakes about that. You see, the, assuming we have the statistics of the labor force in Nigeria, and then the statistics of the number of people working for the federal government, and in fact, indeed, all the governments. Mm -hmm. In fact, it's, there, there, there is no need if 50% the 50, if 50 of the labor force in the country is working in the public sector. That particular economy has no prospect of growing. And that was what the central uh, bank governor was saying then, and uninformed Nigerians were asking for his head. Uh, well, in fact, I support it because there are moments and periods when you've got to take hard, hard choices. Okay, right. And it's, it's in line with the federal government uh, policy of fiscal consolidation, reducing yeah. spending and as well as minimizing debt. Okay, now you just mentioned that they're looking to take recurrent expenditure to 68 from 71% of the total budget. And this, of course, is, is supposed to be a major part of that uh, move. To what extent do you think they will be, will be successful? Because clearly there will be a lot of um, vested interest here. Um, we've had many of these agencies, ministries, etc., for quite a few years. And there would be a lot of people. Um, against this move simply because they've been benefiting from the status quo? Yes, uh, of course, you, uh, the, basically there will be interest, okay? But if this particular interest is as switched by facts and figures, you know, letting people get to know why this has got to be, most times certain policies, policies are not win-win policies, but, you know, basically there could now be the cushion effect just like the Shopee that is going on, okay? Explaining to individuals and besides, we, 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 we are running a federal system of government whereby you have the power at the center as well as the, the, you know, the subnational levels, each of them deriving their powers from the Constitution. Okay? And uh, the way things are going and the way people are you know, championing things and all that seem, seem as if we are you know, operating a one system, a, 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 a unitary system of government. We shouldn't be. Yes, interest will rise, but then that's not in the best interest of Nigeria. And recall that the price of oil at the world market seems to be reducing, okay? And if the thing reduces further, that's really going to be problematic for Nigeria. And in fact, the very be first place where governments seem to be, you know, downsizing is, is in the uh, uh, social sector, education, sanitation, and all that. Yes, people are going to talk, but at the end of the day, what is good for Nigeria is what the government should go for. And I think... Fact is in the right direction. 
All right. Okay. Well, I, I think the, ship, the price of oil has been increasing actually over the last few months. But uh, I, I see your point about the broader outlook for the oil price. Thank you so much, Dr. Patsin Kocha is a fellow at the African Institute of Applied Economics, giving us some perspective on plans to rationalize Nigeria's civil service.